Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm trying not to be too long up here. Mm. Uh, I try to get Jeremy to do this part. But, you know, <laughs> <he's getting laughs> but anyway, I am Ronald Smith. I'm from Norton County. I have a wife, that's the uh, We've been around for a while, a few years, uh, with the Eastern North Carolina Civic Group. Uh, we've been some good times, bad times, tough times, easy times. Been hanging in here, but what uh, I've been charged to do along with Jeremy and Mr. Seals is to come up with a value system for the uh, all right. All right. Would you please mute your uh, line, please? Someone online? Okay. Um, what I what we've done, I'm not going to, I might say ask sometimes, but please forgive me, uh, members and everyone else out there. Uh, what we've done is come up with a set of value systems or a value system that, that uh, I feel like that the uh, city group needs to look at and going forward, especially on the political arena. Uh, you know, like I said, we had some bad times and some good times. Now we are, we are moving into a new era, so we kind of got to readjust the way we do things uh, going forward. You know, we've got to change the way we do it with what we had done in the past. So we're looking at some ideas that uh, we can present, and I also want to make this an interactive session. So I want you all to ask questions, or answer my questions, and my first question would be. Where do we go from here? Where do you want to see the civic group going from this point forward? You know, we have changed leadership uh, and, and, and a lot of things in the world are changing these days. So uh, we've got to change with it. We've got to change with it and, and change the way we do things. Uh, some people say change is hard to accept. Uh, and I'm going to be agreement with that because uh, I don't like changing myself. Sometimes we have to. We don't want to. But anyway, I kind of got a PowerPoint. Uh, we got a PowerPoint that I'm going to present uh, as a, some of the values that uh, we all should have four values in our lives. You know, we got to live for something, so we got to say, I value this and I value that. Something other than money. You know, with more values of things uh, than uh, just money. So we're going to. Um, Go to, uh, we start with East North Carolina uh, City Group and say what we value on uh, the next side. And then what I did some research on, what we did some research on, is said what the, uh, and I got it titled what the East North Carolina City Group value. And then we want to look at, uh, we, we value large. You know, we, we want to be large to each other in our everyday lives. If I don't have the mind to spirituality, you know, we, we claim to be Christians, so we need to start showing it uh, in, a, in a way that God would have us to do it. And we talk about humility, compassion, honesty, kindness, integrity, and selflessness. I mean, we want to be helpful to others, not just ourselves, but helpful to others all around us and in our communities. Inside
Next one. I said, "In these number nine group 
people shall act as an activist and advocate on behalf of African Americans, other minorities, and low income people from the Northeast and North Carolina districts and address issues and concerns that impact the lives of residents from the districts included above and stand in support of others who share similar interests and concerns in these United States. In other words, we are willing to work with anybody that's going to share our value system and go work toward enhancing the life for people in general. And the people who can work with groups that's going to want to make things better for all of us, all of us come to up together. Therefore, we need to come from our city from respect to the request that you as a do, do they make represents the government of the United States for quality of the terms? It was just a couple things we wrote down. It's what we're going to talk in the activity because we want you all to come in and say whatever else you want to do. I've right, we got development of the North State Fair Employment Law that protects North Carolina workers. Point two, increase funding for economic development initiatives, support development of affordable housing in North Carolina, support the creation and implementation of fair housing, no practice and policy. Support the expansion and development of policies, programs, and family initiatives that positively impact the lives of African Americans, other minorities, and low income people. Want to support programs that encourage the creation of wealth in North Carolina. And then uh, we got another one that says support the expansion of diversity and increase the inclusion or importance of African Americans, other minorities, and low income people to state boards and commissions who have demonstrated sensitivity and concern for the needs of people. Okay. Uh, and uh, back to that whole the expansion and increased inclusion. I heard on news last night up in Congress they give a vote. And I forgot what the deal was. But anyway, the news person commented that uh, well, it was in the House of Representatives, but he commented that out of the four African-American representatives in Congress, Don Davis was the only one that voted for the bill. I forgot what the bill actually was. I haven't talked to him the end of it. But the thing about it is, we only got four African-Americans in Congress in the House of Representatives. That you know, I don't know if I didn't see that when we get the majority, even get 50 percent, but I hope I didn't see that when we get more up there than what we have. So that's why we need to come together and come up with uh, something to present, a show that what we are doing whenever uh, these representatives come in here asking for support. Okay, you come here, but you need to be speaking on what we want to see you doing, not everything you want to do. Okay? All right, okay, questions? Comments? <coughs> yes, sir. First of all, let me just uh, thank you for putting that together. Uh, Don Inslee, I'm sorry, big guy. Uh, I hope you could share that tangibly with us, send it out through email, because I am listening and trying to write notes as you report. Uh, number one, I don't know if, if uh, the president wants that done that way, because, uh, and I'll, I'll make it quick, as quick as I can. Um, this is so important. This is unbelievably important to assess our value and what we're about. And, uh, I personally and professionally, if it means I had to spend the rest of this year understanding all that, I'm willing to do it. That's how important this is. And so I'm hoping you will consider, or the president and you will consider sending this out to each one of us. The last, I'm going to say the last, the other statement, more of a structure one, I 
hope we would consider appointing uh, or well, appointing one or two uh, to each one of those categories. That's not easy what you've just done. That is not easy to do. I've been there and, and tried to do that. So if we get two or three people responsible for doing any of the, uh, uh, you know, work to, to, to strengthen it, is what I'm talking about. Uh, let's, let's consider that. Thank you, sir. Uh, So, so uh, I 
I'm excited about this. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to, you know, this is this is the stuff that doesn't look good. As Muhammad Ali would say, I want to fight. Long before I danced in the ring, I was I was doing the training behind the scenes. Nobody was there. Nobody nobody saw me in the gym, but I wanted to fight there. You just saw me dancing under the lights. We're about to do that behind the scenes work, which is coming up with a, 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 a structure and an agenda and a, and a set of values, core values, and things that we believe in, and then an expectation that we have of our membership, a sense of pride for our communities, and then what we're going to ask our elected officials to do on our behalf. Uh, that's that's what we're calling calling you to. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking on behalf of Mr. Sears, Mr. Smith, and the leadership that, that you'll join in with us in that process. I'm excited about it. Uh, and, and, I, and I hear I hear I hear a lot of support around the room, but um, I'm gonna remind you that you said that you want to do this because it's not easy. It's not easy. It, it's, it's difficult, and it takes commitment. It takes commitment beyond the three, five, six, seven folks that, that kind of do do stuff on a regular basis. It's going to require us to step outside of our comfort zone and listen to some people who don't sound like they want to be listened to. Anybody been to church, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> People talk real sideways to you sometimes when you're trying to do something good. Mm -hmm. And you you know what I'm saying. I ain't gotta say no more. But but like we, we need youth, we need more women and girls, we need more diversity of thought and opportunity and ideas. And that's you know, I, I was talking to my dad about this, he's 73. There ain't no need for him to make a plan for the next 30 years. I mean, I, mean, I love him, I want him to be here, but he can't make that plan by himself. Somebody that's going to be here in 30 years got to be informed in plan. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. yeah. So anybody got any questions for me? And I do want all of y'all to be here in the next 30 years. I, I, I want you to be here. Anybody got any questions? Did I step out of line? No. Okay. I, I don't have a question, but I have a comment. Yes, sir. Uh, Camille Stan said, it's called County. Uh, he was talking about doing stuff behind the scene. Stuff behind the scene. I met you years ago with the NAACP Youth and College Division. I'm 60 years old. Yes, sir. So I don't know who you're talking about, two years older than you. <laughs> but, um, and then you know, I was going to think, um, it's great. She's been here a long time. I was glad to see her today. I was just thinking about her the other week. But I'll make some long story short. I, I appreciate what you guys have put together. And, I, and I'm committed. Now, in fact, I'm going to do some other stuff so I can be committed to this stuff. But people need to understand. Resources are great. And so when something go on in North Hampton County, in Edgecombe County, when we got this body here, we can call them and say, come support. It makes a difference. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't lie. I can say no more. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Nancy. Okay. Uh, I don't need a mic. I'm a loud talker anyway. Uh, again, Dr. Inslee, and I'll rush through. Let me just suggest us to think about the geography. Uh, we keep talking about northeast of North Carolina. I hear that spoken quite a bit. I don't know, but think about the geography. Now, Don picked up 19 counties. Okay, Don Davis. We used to talk about, in our leadership on the, on the James Hill, we used to talk about 21 counties. I'm not going back there, but I'm saying let's just think about our geography of who we are trying to obtain information from to share with others. That is very important. And that's why I suggested a committee, small committee of two or three people, to work on strengthening this so that once we come back, whenever, we bring it back and hopefully the president and the officer so this, you're right. This is the core. And by the way, you're, uh, you know, I'm a little older than your father. <laughs> He's still a young man. He's a young man. Any other comments, questions? Let's see.
this has got to be about a whole lot more than a handful of the CEO. Folks, and all of us working together to get this done. Uh, as you know, the program that the final is a whole lot of stuff. And what you were suggesting that we need to have a committee working on the, the bits and pieces of that. Nobody can work on all of them. We need, we, we need to accentuate all of them. It's just that important. And as a matter of fact, one of the things that I think that, that, that we, we need to remember here, this, this is not something that a handful can do. Uh, and it's going to take all ages and all ideas. It'll take some real diversity of what we're trying to talk about here. <laughs> I was glad to see Mr. Gray here. Uh, let's, not, let's not forget, there was a time when she was the only one who we were looking at. Mm -hmm. And time has moved on, and, and that, it hasn't left her because she's still here. Now, there's obviously a, a lot of inspiration that she can give us, but well, we've got to put some feet and legs to, to she, she doesn't move quite as swiftly as she used to. Mm. And that goes for a whole lot of real stuff. <laughs> we do take, take, take go quite as, as quickly as we used to, but we do need to be committed to the, the concepts and the points that can make that. Uh, I, I, I too would be interested in seeing uh, all of us look at what you laid out here and decide which piece of it you're going to work on and then be committed to that piece. And let's get that piece done just as well and as accurately and so it reflects what we want to do as possible. Now, it won't get all, it won't get all done by itself won't all get done today, but we can be sure that we work on it. Uh, and I, 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 I would urge all of us who are here, if you have comments, ideas, thoughts about it, be sure that you let us know. Say what it is that you want to say. Uh, and it will be the uh, uh, diversity of all of us together that makes this be what we want to be. I think, I think we've got excellent leadership here. And Mr. Stokes can't do all this by himself. All of us are going to have to help. And you can't put no room in this for a to the same he ought to. It's not to bring it back to you. It's sort of you and what you say. What a Thank you, Mr. Sears. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Uh, just to wrap up a couple of things and, and take in, in mind what was this uh, comment that was made, I'll just say that thank you. We really we could just take and break it out into a couple of areas, not more than just a couple, but a few areas where we can form committees and work on. Uh, some of the, 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 group, the group. And what comes to mind is, you know, say it, uh, you spoke about diversity on a couple of times. And I think maybe that would be the first issue that we really need to pull out from this presentation. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, take the, get someone that's really important to work on diversity. Because in diversity, you've got your different age group, you've got your different uh, ethnic authenticity, you know, whatever you call it, black, white, blue, green, green, you know, work on four of those men, uh, older folks, I mean, like the, the age group, uh, in, uh, in diversity, and also look at the, uh, I don't really want to say educational background, but uh, people all, different education arenas to come in here. Anybody that can speak and want to come in, whether they four years old, old up, 
you know, because these young folks, they got a mind, they can change some things, especially now going forward. That we can change the era, and uh, we're not following them some. You know, and, uh, and these young folks are going to be following in that. In four and five years old, in two years from now, they, they can be the outpaced this year type of equipment. So we just got to kind of work toward come up with values and to bring the young folks up for the values of it. And uh, let's do our part. Any more questions or comments? I just want to thank y'all for your work. Yeah, great job. I'm looking forward to it. Great job. Thank you, John. Good start. Thank you for setting it up. Good start. Nobody go to sleep? <laughs> You know. <laughs> I was running my mouth, but I'll volunteer to be on one whatever committee. Okay, I'll turn it back over to uh, okay. Mr. Stokes and then he can direct you to where you Or either you can send that out to whatever way you want to do it. Right. Since I'm running my mouth. <laughs> no, there's no problem. They want to move it here. Somebody just bring them out. They want to move And stop the rain, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> stop the rain. <laughs> I want to thank the Political Action Committee. You all, just give them a hand. Thank you. The comments that Dr. Pete's made, if, if there is anyone that would like to volunteer to work on the, this committee, please let me know. I see Dr. Crable, Dr. Emerson, um, Rachel Dickles, yeah, and, and you know, we talk a lot of bad things about the pandemic, how he the pandemic. But what the pandemic has taught us is that we can meet by Zoom or Skype or Google Meet. So it, it would be easy for you to have these meetings. So I've got your email emails. I will give those to the committee. And if it is anyone on live that would want to be on, serve on the committee. And then in our next meeting, if you all would give us an update of where you are and where you think we need to go. Because what you saw today is a template. This, this is, it's up to us. Mr. Smith got it on paper, but it is up to us to say exactly what the Eastern North Carolina State Group wants to go. And we can do this, folks. I don't know about you all, but I'm tired of supporting the candidate. And after they get in, we see them once or twice a year. And, and they have done nothing in the state or county to help us, to move us on. So by having this, mm -hmm. By having this on paper, when we bring them in, they will hear the values of the city. And the questions that we ask them, the answers that they give us, is how we will break them on our report card. And then we're going to make that report card public. And we want to let the people see. You know, some, somewhere in the Bible they talked about that you speak for those who can't speak for themselves. This is what the Eastern North Carolina City Group will do. Now, Mr. Sears and the ones that's older, Dr. Ainsley, you all can remember, there was a time that a candidate did not put his name in for a state race until they came in and talked to the city group. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, George remember that too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We're going to work to establish that again. Now, we may not win that county, but if, every, if the majority of people who look like us go in and vote for that person, and they see that there's a lot of votes in these 23 counties of the city group, that's going to get their attention. So I do thank you all. I've got those two emails. If anyone else wants to send Betty or me an email, and once I get that, I will send that to the community. 
And you all, you, I want you all to drive this train. I want you all to drive. And our next meeting, if we can get some younger people, if everybody would strive to bring them one or two people younger than Jeff. Okay. <laughs> so we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> uh, but, but we can do that. We, we've got to start building. And, and today is the first step. It is the first step. Anyone else have any comments? But for some of you all, maybe the, the last uh, page on the news Wait. occurs, this Wait. is where uh, they refer to folks who were trying to eat as being colored folks. Yeah. 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 You know what being called that? <laughs>
represented, we want you to take 10 tickets. On August the 19th, we are having our appreciation banquet for Mrs. James Sears, who has served this organization and this organization for over 30 years, and 20 of those 30 years in leadership position. Right. We're also going to honor Ms. May McGee, who served as the secretary, the record. Well, assistant secretary. Ms. McGee, she was assistant. She was the assistant secretary. She served for seven years. And Mrs. Vera Murrow also has served for seven years. So on August the 19th at 3 p.m., we're going to have an appreciation banquet that will be held at the WC Chance Building in Robertsonville. We hope that all of you will attend. It is semi-formal, but if you have a good church dress and a good church suit, put it on, because we want them to know how much we appreciate their years of service. Going back to business, and, and, and let me say this about Mr. Sears. Mr. Mr. Sears is one of the humblest men, men yeah that I know. Yes. You know, he doesn't have a prideful bone in his body. <laughs> and 
You don't see many folks like that. You don't. And and I told him when they asked me would I consider being president, that as long as he, his nephew, and those that were in leadership stood by my side, then I said, as long as you all are there, I'll be there. And I want to thank Dr. Ainsley for, for getting out here today, as well as Dr. Cream. Um, I, I just appreciate all of you. And the Political Action Committee, Commissioner Huggins, who I, I, I used to see years ago mm. here, and, and she still committed. You know, that, that we stay on this battlefield. We stay on it, and we do greatly appreciate all of you. Jerry, thank you for that. Thank you for serving the Committee. Ms. Matthews, uh, Ms. Matthews, just, we just asked, will we'll, we'll, Ms. Matthews do this, and he said, yeah. And so we want to thank you for helping us out as well. Uh, Brother Dancy, for putting this on Facebook Live. You know, I, I looked to see how many were on here, but then I asked him doing the work, and he, he had 70 that had gone by his page. So our work is to be done. Our work is to be, to be done. But as Margaret Meese said that, Never doubt that the actions of a few committed people can change the world. She said, in fact, it's the only thing that has changed the world. So we don't need a room full. We don't need a room full. I would like to see a room full, but we don't need it. We are committed, and if we carry out this program with the value, we will be building a machine that will last for years. Not only in our time, but in our children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Business wise, with the city group, we were supposed to have the second reading of our dollars. We had the first reading back in June. Today was supposed to be the second reading and then after that, moving a passage. Since this was a working session, we're not going to do that today. We will do that in our August meeting. So in August, we're going to meet twice. We're going to have our regular meeting on the second Saturday. And then the following Saturday will be our band. Everybody understand that? Okay, is there anything else to come before Ms. Matthews? I'm going to push that out. I'm going to be very brief. I, I have a challenge for everyone, something I found out this week. Uh, I had some teenagers in the field with new kind of potatoes and conversations that over 50% of our students are smoking vape. gave me an indication that the school system was doing nothing about it. So that survey we did, an extraordinary survey, and I, I would hope that we could get some real data on how major this problem is. Because then our community that way you see you see a big shot. So um, if we found out a hundred years later that asthma was bad for us, uh, what what faith uh, we were talking about trying to sustain Communities, but if they can get detrimental to our students, uh, and we need to know about it, we know it's detrimental, but we need to know how much of a magnitude it is, how, how serious the problem is. Because those kids tell me that over 50% of the students in their school systems go to them. And I'm talking young teenagers, 14, 15, 16. I was shoot Secretary Bryant an email and ask her to see if she can gather some information. And also, before I go to you, Ms. Smith, I want to thank you and your husband. They supplied the 
subways, lunching for us. Dr. Ainsley brought donuts to go along with the food that Miss Matthew for us this year. So again, we, we thank all of you. This is what it takes. These contributions in time and money from here.
that, and our school board had passed that. They didn't want it. So we took that message to the school board. Guess what? We got rid of it. Hmm. And the kids were so great to that. So, so you're on board. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, sometimes we'll do that. We'll look at we, got, the we got so many things going on, but we're going to do that. We're going to do that. There's nothing else to come before. Mr. President, just one last thing. I know we are talking about regional. I, I hear the brother keep talking about it. But we are open to anybody that wants to participate, right? Yes. It don't have to be in the 23 counties. Without it, vote? Anybody. Right. right. Oh, yeah. yeah but, but I want everybody to know that they can come in because it we need it, it need to be statewide. Yeah. We need somebody from everywhere. I just want to add that for people that don't right. know. And that's also You know, that's, that's, that's what we need. We need to hear those testimonies. And that's what I've been telling folks. It's just like from the pool pit. People need to start telling testimonies. And then people can see what's actually going on. I, I thank y'all. I, I enjoy it. Give me inspiration. 
Is there anything else on the floor? I just want to thank the new officers. Uh, we need to recognize the new officers, and I know people know who they are, <laughs> but I just want to verbally thank you guys for taking on this awesome task. And uh, I'm 83 years old with bone cancer, but I'll do what I can do while I'm still here. Right. And I know that for a fact, he will. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. If there's nothing else, we will uh, accept the motion to adjourn. All right. All right. Thank you. Second. Mm -hmm. Second. If you have trash, put it in the trash.